Hey, how's it going? Let's learn a really fun strummer that sounds great on one guitar. Neil Young, Down by the River, from his 1969 album with Crazy Horse. Everybody knows this is nowhere. It's only six chords and three progressions. But it's a great song to jam over, too. The jams go on forever. So if you get someone to play it with you, I'll show you some scales and some things you can do um, um, if you want to solo over. The song's in standard A440 tuning. Go ahead and tune your guitars low to high. E, A, D, G, B, and E. We're in the key of E minor, it's in 4-4 time, and it's moderately slow, about 88 beats per minute. And here's all the chords you're gonna need. It's, you're gonna need an E minor seventh chord. I like this voicing of the chord, it's like an E minor. If you know that, and then add the D note. Flat is the seven, uh, third fret on the B string. You could use your pinky or third finger, I use my pinky. But that voicing sounds like the one he's using in the song, and then an A major. Uh, and then you're gonna need a C major, B minor, for the pre-chorus, and then in the chorus you're going to need G and D. That's all the chords. And if you need some help with that B minor chord, or like changing from bars to opens, opens to bars, which could be really challenging, I really help you with that. So much is about that fret hand technique, and I have a killer lesson. I'll send it to you for free. It's extended play. It's not on YouTube. Just click in the YouTube description box below, send you a killer free video lesson on my bar chord, best bar chord changing and playing techniques. It's packed with technique tips and exercises. It'll really get your chord changing blasted to the next level. And I'll pair it with an ebook which has more chord charts, more lessons, more exercises in it. It's a killer one-two punch. I'll send them both to you for free. Just click on that link below. So the song is based around basically a two chord change uh, is so prevalent in a song. E minor 7 to an A major. And that's the change in the intro, that's a change for the verses, and that's the change that they jam over in all the instrumental breaks, right? Um, the hardest part of this song students have is getting the groove down with the strumming, because we're gonna use two different patterns, one on the E minor seventh and one on the A chord to kind of replicate what he's doing on the record. I'll show you an easier way to do it too. But let me play it for you a couple times. This is the intro, and this is what they do in all the verses. Okay, that's it. It's just E minor 7 to A. Okay, now the strum pattern. You want to break these complex patterns down into smaller pieces. So on the E minor 7th chord, what I'm doing is I'm going, I'm hitting like the low E string or the low E and the A, just the low notes, the low two strings twice. Then the whole chord, so three downstrokes to start. And then I'm doing this. I'm doing a down chuck. And all that technique is, is I'm throwing my hand into the strings and I'm hitting the strings with the side of the palm of my hand at the same time the pick hits the strings. So it deadens it and you get that muted percussive sound. But it's all, see I'm not using the fret hand at all. It's all with open chords in that pick hand. So I'm doing, uh, on that E minor seventh, I'm doing a down chuck, upstroke, down chuck, upstroke. Okay, so here's the first part slow. Okay, so down, down, full chord, down, chuck, up, down, chuck, up, and then do down, 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 chuck, up. That last part. Okay, let me try to do it slow. We'll put the whole thing together. That's it for the E minor seventh chord. And then you just slowly bring up the speed. Okay. Now, when you switch to the A chord, the first part is the same. You do the two downs, or you hit kind of like, you could just hit the partial chord, and you could even mute it if you want, because sometimes the song gets a little bit softer, sometimes it gets heavier or louder. You could play with that dynamics. So on the A chord, down, down, down again, and then you're gonna do a down chuck up, down chuck up, but then a down chuck, all right? So it's a little bit different. So here's the beginning on that A chord, slow. And then up, down, up, down, up. Straight eight notes. You have to end on that up because the, the back to the E minor starts on a down. That last part, up, down, up, down, up. Okay, so on the A chord, slow. All right, so here's both of them together. I'll try to do it slow. It's kind of hard to do slow, but I'll try.
that's if you can get that the rest is very easy and you do that four times E minor 7 to A for the verses now one other thing on the verses if you don't want to do that chucking just forget about the chuck and just use a downstroke there so same exact strum pattern See, I'm doing the same thing, I'm just not chucking it, and you get that, but you don't have that rhythmic element to the groove. But if you just want to practice that until you get your chucking down, by all means. And hey, if you could do me a huge favor, please subscribe to the channel. You know, that really helps me to keep bringing the content. And ring that subscription bell, because then you'll be notified when I have new lessons posted. Also, leave me a comment below. Let me know how you like this lesson. Let me know what lessons you'd like to see in the future. And if you like this lesson, be sure to smash that like button. Give it a thumbs up. Share it. Thank you so much for your support. And then it goes into the pre-chorus, which is the oh, la, 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 la. So I can't really sing it. Maybe I'll try it later. It's, it's way too high for me. But the pre-chorus, we're going to change the strum. Let me play the pre-chorus. It'll sound like this. into the chorus, big G chord. So the pre-chorus is just C, when he goes to the ahs or the oohs, and then um, uh, and then B minor, la 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 la, and you do C to B minor three times. She could drag me B minor over the rainbow. C, send me away, B, D, the strum pattern, then into the chorus. So the strum pattern we're gonna use for most of the pre-chorus is down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, up, okay? So on the C, B minor, C, B minor, last time C, B minor, Okay, the last time on the B minor, you just do four downs. And then D, just hit that down, one down for D, or you can even catch it on an up. And then it goes into the chorus. So the chorus, right? The down by the river. G, down, D, by the, then you hit D again, river is your A, and he does that three times. I shot my baby. Right? And then again, G down, D by the D river, D to A, and then dead, you go back to the E minor 7, to the A change. The strum pattern, on the G and the D chord, you're going to go down, 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 up, down, 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 up. So G, down, 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 up, D, down, 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 up. Now you got to hit the D once more with a down, because it's rib to the A, and on the A, it's just six downs. One, two, three, four, five, six. You kind of build it up. So here's slow. G. D. D again. Down, 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 up, D, down. Down, down, up. One down, D. B, A, A, three, four, five, six. I know all the parts the intro which is the same as the verses the pre-chorus and the chorus and then there's just two instrumental breaks where they're soloing forever but the cool thing is it's a great jam so on those instrumental breaks like I said before you're just playing that E minor 7 to A groove but you could solo with E minor pentatonic and blues scales and E natural minor and he even does that like at first part of the solo he does that one note solo he just hangs on an E note and he plays it with just some rhythm kind of percussiveness but that E note so you could just use like 7th fret on the A string. G 
try to just get that right hand going in time in a pattern. You can play that E, play E octaves at first, and then you could kind of just break into that uh, E minor pentatonic. That E minor pentatonic and blues scale. Whatever position of the E minor pentatonic or E minor pentatonic and blues scale you know, you know, just start with that and solo. Just start with that and just kind of solo from there. You can also use that natural minor scale, which sounds really good when you're soloing. And then try to incorporate some double styles with vibrato like he does a lot in the solo. We're hitting a couple notes together. And he does that a lot and he kind of bends them a little, get some dissonance going on and, and uh, just have some fun and get lost in it. That's Down by the River, Neil Young. Really fun one to play. Really excellent song to just jam over and get lost in. Hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Really helps me to keep bringing the content. Ring that subscription bell. Then you'll be notified when I have new lessons posted. Also, don't forget to click on that link below and uh, check out my free video lesson and ebook on bar chord playing and changing technique tips and exercises. It'll really help you along your guitar journey. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support over the years. Keep up all that hard work on those guitars. Keep having fun with them. And remember, your playing is an evolution. So enjoy the journey. Take care, rock on. See you in the next lesson.